The next item is at Zena's Weapon Parlour. Hmm, as expected, it was right there at the bottom and the keyword we need is weapons. Hmm. Nice one. Zena's was just two rooms away. What we needed here is an Alorian Dirk. There is only one type of Dirk for sale. Hmm, the next item is a little trickier. A red apple from Khmer's Farm. This one will not be on the find all list as it is in an area in the game and will be found outside the city of Aelor. To get there, we can still use the run to command, but it will have to be from recall. As I am no longer sure of where I am in relation to the recall point, I shall just recall. To find the directions from recall, we just simply type speedwalk Khmer. We can see that it is still pretty close to where we are. But it is easy to use the run to command, so I shall just type that in. Here we are in Khmer's farm. And the room that greets us is full of ants and mice. I wonder how we are going to find an apple in here. Time to do a little exploring. Vladia mentioned she wanted a fresh apple. So maybe we can find an apple tree. Let's move north. No, no apple tree here, though we've got more mice and ants. Oh, a couple of farm hands, but they're having a nap, so we probably shouldn't disturb them. Let's try north. Oh, here we go. There is a wilted apple tree in this room. I wonder if it has any apples on it. This apple tree grows up straight and tall, however its leaves have started to wilt from neglect. Some apples still grow in the tree, but you might have to shake the tree or be very tall to pick an apple. Now the words shake and tree are highlighted, as are the words pick and apple. It should stand to reason that if we typed shake tree or pick apple, that we would get an apple from the apple tree. It worked. We got a shiny red apple from the apple tree. Vladia will be so proud of us. The last thing we are going to get on our list is a reed flute from a place called Sinar Lake. We are going to have to recall before we can use the run to command to get there. Typing Speedwalk Lake, we can see that it is further away than Khmer's Farm is. We had time to notice that the top map showed us a continent view as we ran to the area. It seems there is a lot out there in the big wide world. On the mini ASCII map, we can see a dollar symbol in the room to the north. Why don't we go there and check it out, see if they have anything for sale. Oh, that was easy. There is a reed flute for sale in the shop. It is number five on the list. There isn't anything special about this flute. I wonder what experiment Vladia is working on. Okay then, we have all the items on her list, save for the bottle of beer. Now, to go to the land of the beer goblins and see if we can find this special bottle of beer for Vladia. Hmm, here we are in the land of the beer goblins. Together, our last item for Vladia. 
If we find that this is too hard, we can return to Vladia without it, but we really should give it a red hot go first. The key word to remember is explore. Looking at the ASCII map, we can see a dollar sign. Let us move there now and see what they have for sale. While the room description says that the shop contains many items, it would appear that the store is closed. What this means in reality is that there are no actual items for sale in a store that is closed for business. So we have to find another shop to buy our beer from. I was curious as to what the brackets were on the mini map and now that I am here, it would appear that there is a fountain. Uh oh. It seems that the fountain had beer in it and now I am completely wasted. You can see here that I am not hungry or thirsty, but I am 90% drunk. Hmm. The room description says that there is a shop to the west. I shall open the door and find the shopkeeper. Ah, this looks like the shop we have been looking for. There are a few bottles of beer available in this store, but now I can't remember what the specific bottle of beer was that Vladia wanted. Ah, bottle of Brewington Specialities then. That would be item three and will only cost one gold piece. And there we have it, all the items on the list. I'd better double check they are all in my inventory. I would hate to think that I've missed one. Looks like they are all there. Time to recall and go up to get back to the academy. I am positive that we collected all the items on the list so I will say yes. She is very happy with us for collecting all the items, even her lunch and beer, it seems. We have received Vladia shopping bag, an Alorian Academy training gloves, and 2,000 gold. That was sure worth it. And now we have completed the economy training in the Academy and are now ready for communications training. This is a really nice bag. It can carry up to 300 items. I will definitely want to keep this bag. These gloves are really nice too, adding two to luck and two dexterity. I shall keep these and wear them with pride. And here you can see my outfit is beginning to take shape with another equipment slot filled. I'll see you at communications training.